Welcome to War Thunder Naval. I am Commander Tyriel, and this is USS Douglas PG-100, an Asheville-class gunboat which served in the United States Navy from 1971 to 1977. This class of gunboats were originally designated PGM motor gunboats, but were later reclassified PG patrol combatant ships. Douglas was constructed by Tacoma Boat Building Company of Tacoma, Washington, launched in June 1970 and commissioned in February 1971, spending the bulk of her career based in Naples, Italy as part of a squadron of missile-armed gunboats participating in NATO exercises and operations in the Mediterranean. The Asheville class employed a combined diesel or gas turbine propulsion system, twin Cummins diesel engines for endurance and a GE LM1500 gas turbine for high-speed sprints. Engine controls were operated by pneumatic and the controllable reversible pitch propeller allowed them to stop in less than two ship lengths from full speed. They were the first gas turbine ships in the US Navy as well as the first with aluminium hulls and fiberglass superstructures. Originally designed for Caribbean patrols, the Asheville class was deployed into Southeast Asia where they proved successful in coastal work, intercepting small boats attempting to transport arms along the Vietnam coast. Attempts to use them on inland rivers proved disastrous to the small, lightly armed ships. Marine grade aluminium and fiberglass superstructure with enclosure offering little protection. One boat, USS Canaan, sustained heavy battle damage by over eight rocket strikes, resulting in half the crew being wounded. One Navy Cross, three Silver Stars, and five Bronze Stars were awarded to members of the crew as a result of action, with her currently in storage in Philadelphia Harbor with an unknown final disposition. Five of the gunboats were fitted with various missile systems, replacing the 40mm guns. USS Benicia conducted test firings of a modified AGM-12 bullpup surface-to-air missile, and Antelope Pemretti were fitted with two launch cells aft. Grand Rapids and Douglas were fitted with an improved standard arm missile, or anti-radiation missile, developed by General Dynamics. The RIM-24A Tartare it was a short, medium-range surface-to-air missile, essentially a SAM N7 Terrier without the booster stage. Studies to replace the Terrier's beam riding guidance system with an active radar homing system began in as early as 1951, with a semi-active radar guidance making the missile effective against low-flying targets. Another requirement was to provide a compact missile system for smaller ships. These goals could be reached by using tail-controlled Terrier missile with a new radar homing seeker. The development contract for the Tartare missile was finally awarded in 1955, and interestingly, the Tartare did not receive the SAM N designation, but was known simply as the Missile Mark 15. The first full Tartare prototype flew in 1958, and after a lengthy and difficult evaluation period, Tartare was officially operational in 1962. In 1963, the basic Tartare missile was designated as RIM 24A. The RIM-24A had an Aerojet Mark I end-burning dual-thrust solid rocket fuel motor. It was effective against targets flying at altitudes between 15 and 15,000 meters, at a range between 1.8 and 14 kilometers. All Tartare missiles had a viable surface-to-surface -surface capability, with an effective range of 18 kilometers. And while it's not the first ship-borne missile to be fitted in War Thunder, it is what I consider to be the first of a new generation of anti-ship missiles. The TNT warhead of 50 to 60 kilos is enough to do significant damage to destroyer squadrons. And while the ship is only fitted with two missiles, if you sit at a cap point, you're able to continuously reload, and if you have a friend, you can do some serious work. In fact, this missile is such a threat you can even take down a cruiser. I am Commander Tyriel. And this is War Thunder. Until the next transmission. Commander Tyriel, out.